Today on Room 9 News from St Joseph's School, Stratford. We have breaking news about a mini disaster involving mutant worms. The opening of the new administration block at St Joseph's School, Stratford. A visit to the famous Taranaki Nature Resource at Lake Rotokiri, which is located near the town of Eltham. We update you on the exciting work that a group of 11 and 12 year olds have been doing as young Vinnies in Stratford, plus an invertative strategic planning happening in room 9 at St Joseph's School, Stratford. But first up. It was supposed to be an all day harmless field trip. You know, with the sun shining, birds chirping and the water glistening like diamonds. And a delicious lunch of course. Recently the rangers had released three young Kiwi chicks. They were telling their story when everything began to shake. Earthquake! We all thought immediately. But no, we were wrong. It was giant mutant worms. Deafening noise followed by gigantic worms with dribbling sticky mouths and enormous sharp teeth. Dirt and dust rose as we all fled in terror, except Luke, who tripped over hurting his ankle badly. Oh, ow, that's gotta hurt. The worms had no eyes but felt the vibration of our fleeing feet. Everyone eventually regrouped and we made a cunning plan to trap them. And they fell for it. Lock, stock and fearless? They were carefully caged in electric metal containers and zoos around the world are in a bidding frenzy to house them as permanent exhibits. Here's our on-the-spot reporter, William Hitchcock, with Kelsey Darth. Hello, William here. And we have Kelsey, the Young Vinnies Public Relations Officer for Young Vinnies. Hi Kelsey, and thanks for joining us today. That's okay. Most of us have never heard the name Young Vinnies. Can you tell me what this organisation is all about? It is an international organisation who help the homeless and poor people in need. How did this fundraising organisation start? The who, where and what questions? It first started in 1833. A 20-year-old man, Frederick Ozerman, started out to put effect in people's daily lives. It first started actively in England and Wales. So what sort of fundraising activities are successful in your community to raise money? In Term 1, we, do, we make pancakes for show for Tuesday. In Term 2, we do a Guess the Lollies competition to see how many lollies are in both jars. In Term 3, we do a grocery raffle. And in Term 4, we do a garage sale on Mission Day. All the money we earn throughout the year proceeds to the St Vincent de Paul Society. Thanks, Kelsey. And that's all from me. Now back to you, Estelle and Daniel, in the studio. Interesting interview. Thanks, William. And now for something completely different. Now, over to our reporter, Taylor Dwight. About a year ago, the Catholic Education Board decided that the administration block of St. Joseph's School in Stratford was far too small and had been around for too long. When the school office was built, they did not need a big office, but circumstances have changed and there is more staff, more paperwork, more students and teachers and classrooms. So they moved the school office into the hall and a building project began. It was meant to take a hundred days to build, but they found lots of problems on the way that needed fixing. The new administration bot started being used in January 2011. It has four main parts, the office for the secretary, the principal's office, the teacher's staff room, toilets and sick bay. The new administration bot is clean and a fresh and a wonderful place for us all to use. It is a huge improvement and everyone appreciates the hard work of so many people who work together to complete it. Our parish priest, Father Brian Carmini, will officially open and bless it later in the year.
Thanks, Taylor, for an informative report on the new building at St. Joseph's School. I am Alexa Richards, and joining me now is Jacob Kalen, who is here to answer some questions on the groundbreaking strategic goals that Room 9 are striving to achieve during 2011. Tell me what developing leadership means for Year 7 students. In Room 9, developing leadership, or helping develop leadership, are our big picture goals. And they are leadership, thinking skills, and faith journey. Give me some examples of what thinking skills are. Thinking skills are using our brains to figure out other solutions in our work and looking or thinking for others. I have been told by a reliable source in the Stratford Parish that the words to celebrate are a keystone to the year. Can you elaborate on this? Yes, to celebrate... Uh our keystone uh, is a keystone of the year and we can celebrate all kinds of stuff and we're out of time back to you Estella and Daniel thanks Lexa and Jacob it will be interesting for us to revisit the school at the end of the year to see what has actually happened now for something completely different another story from Lake Rotakiri which was featured earlier in tonight's news bulletin. This is an exclusive story and you heard it first from Capital E Television. Lake Rotakiri is a huge natural bush reserve which includes a large lake surrounded by flourishing wetlands. The peace fence around the reserve is a New Zealand first. This fence is buried deep under the ground so that no pests like rats, stoats or wild cats can dig their way into the reserve. Because there are so many glorious native birds safely, in, safely inside the fence. Recently, the Lake Rotakiri Committee released three young beautiful kiwi chicks into the secret location that only the rangers know. They came from a kiwi house in Rotorua where they were bred. The long-term goal is for them to develop into adult kiwis and have many babies which can live happily and safely inside the Lake Rotorangi Reserve. This is all a big part of the big picture goal of the Rotorangi Reserve. They want a reserve where our children and grandchildren can see our natural Aotearoa treasures. Let's cross to our on-the-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you, William Hitchcock. Thanks, Estella. I'm William, and joining me now is Katie McGregor. How many times have you visited the Roto Kerry Reserve, Katie? Only once. I've never had any time to go see the Roto Kerry Lake. I recommend anyone to go see this marvellous site. Tell me about this marvellous fence. Can you describe it to me, please? The gate is about 8.4 kilometres long. It's dug deep under the ground so no piece can dig in. How do you feel about not being allowed to see the new baby kiwis? Do you think the rangers, rangers are worrying and fretting about them for nothing? Quite disappointed, but I'm sure we'll be able to see them when they're all grown up. And not really. The Kiwis are kept safe in the reserve somewhere where only the rangers know. So there's no point in really worrying about them. Thanks for your time, Katie. Now over to you, Luke Friday and Tyler Vanderbeken with the weather update. Thank you, William, for promoting the Clean Green New Zealand message. What a fantastic day we have had in the NACI today. We hope that you have made the most out of the scorching 35 degree in, the Strat in Stratford today. Since they began recording the temperature in, in 1896, it's never topped this 35 degree high. 
Some folks are praying hard for winter snow or a brief southerly blast, while others bask in the heat and headed for the water, family, fun and food. Now let's take a look at what's happening around the country. There have been some interesting highs and just one low throughout the country. A little bit of rain in only one South Island location. And they were thankful for that to help fill up some empty irrigation systems. That's all from me now. Good night, New Zealand. We'll spot you back. To, we'll spot you tomorrow. Back to the news desk is Stella and Daniel. Thanks, Luke and Tyler. Well, that's us for tonight. Thanks for tuning in and catching up on today's happenings. Enjoy the sevens match on TV One starting at eight thirty, and don't forget your sunscreen tomorrow, all of you Stratford people. We'll be back tomorrow night at the same time, bringing you the best and the latest news of the same time. Make a date to join us. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again next time. From the whole team at the Room 9 Capital E team, goodbye, Enoa Ra. Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Two.